What's up guys, Zinigami here, and let's go through the brand new 6-star Magellan Sugofest batch coming out soon to the Japanese version of One Piece Treasure Cruise. This upcoming Sugofest, guys, is going to have a limited run of Legends available. Uh, it's only three classes. It's Striker, Shooter, and I think Cerebral. Uh, that last class might be wrong, but it's only uh, Legends from a certain number of classes. So if you're looking for one of those Legends, then it's a better chance to get that. The first multi-pull is going to be guaranteed gold second third and fourth multi-pull the last one is going to be guaranteed sugo boosted character and the fifth multi-pull is going to be a guaranteed legend now one of these new characters and what do they do and just how useful are they going to be the new bond clay First of all, is going to be a Strength Free Spirit Fighter character. His Captain ability boosts the attack of Strength characters by 2.5 times and then by 3.125 times after 3 perfects. Now this basically makes him uh, stronger than Gear 3 is on a pure Strength team. He's a very good Captain, at, like very, very good Captain. All these characters actually really Solid captains, and this 2.5 times attack is seems to be something that Bandai wants to make a standard, decent attack boosting captain at 2.5 times as just flat everyone. Everyone gets 2.5 times attack plus other stuff. Um, and if you have some survivability, you're gonna have a slightly lower than 2.5 times attack. Uh, but that actually, the starting off 2.5 times attack, even though this end is weaker than gear 3, the, having the attack boost at the start will make it stronger depending on what your team looks like. Uh, so you can expect him like a gear 3 level captain. His sailor ability, so only active when he's not the captain, boosts attack, recovery, and health of all characters by 50. That's pretty solid. His special ability removes all positive buffs on your team. And if you're above a certain threshold, we don't know what it's at, probably a third or half health or something like that, then you won't die for one turn if you're only hit by one character. So this one right here, remove all positive buffs, is huge. Huge! That sounds like really bad, but this is actually like really, really important because he's now only the second character to ever do this in all of One Piece Trailer Cruise. The only other character that removes positive buffs from your team is Six Star Cavendish, and Mon Clay being a non Six Star character is gonna make it much easier to get him. This makes him really good on fights like, uh, fights like against Guild to Soro that will boost your attack and your orb boost. And most importantly, compared to Cavendish, Cavendish removes positive buffs and also gives you an attack and orb boost. So you can't do like Cavendish special and then follow up that Cavendish with a Kuma special. With Bond Clay, you can. So if the enemies boost your attacks, you can use Bond Clay special, clear those buff offs, and then use your uh, Gainu special, use your Kuma special, use whatever you want. It's a strength team, so I'm using those strength characters as examples, and then burst on that same turn. Instead of whereas Cavendish, you can't burst until uh, two turns later, assuming you're not using Cavendish uh his special himself so that this is really really huge this is probably this the one that as a casual player you might think oh bon clay that's like no oh, that sounds so bad why would you want to remove your buffs that is gigantic against so many fights that will give you positive buffs that are really weak so that way you can't get rid of them then we have Hannibal. Hannibal, Captain Ability, 2.5 times Int Captain. Once again, that 2.5 times attack. He also heals two times his recovery at the end of each turn. Uh, these recovery, we're, we don't know what it's at. It's probably going to be a few hundred, so we can expect that to be about 500 to 800 heal per turn if you put Cotton Candy on him. His Sailor Ability, if you have a Striker Captain, makes Primary Color Orbs beneficial to him. And his Special Ability reduces damage taken by 50% and is a conditional attack boost if the enemy is toxic. Now, currently there are only two characters in the game that will inflict toxic, and that is Six Star Magellan that we'll talk about in a little bit, and Raid Boss Magellan. So Raid Boss Magellan and Six Star Magellans are the ones that will activate toxic slash venom, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, important to note that this is not strongly poisoned. Strongly poisoned like the story mode Croc, will not activate Hannibal special. But the 1.75 times attack for two turns is gigantic. This is the largest conditional attack booster that has ever existed. Um, this is going to stack with your type boost. So if you use a two times type boost, use a two times orb boost, and then poison uh, toxic them, and then use Hannibal, you're gonna get 
sick amounts of damage and we're going to see a lot of teams do a lot of really big damage with this now if you don't have a six star magellan it's okay you'll notice that he is an int character so he does work great on an int team with raid boss magellan and raid boss magellan is a striker so he already has his sailor ability active with the striker magellan raid boss captain too so he works great on an int team works great with the raid boss magellan and works great with six star magellan very very good especially with either one of those together and don't forget that reduces damage received by 50 percent for two turns is also a decent special then we have ivankov quick ivankov quick free spirit cerebral ivankov captain ability boosts free spirit attack by 2.5 once again recovers two times recovery at the end of each turn this is basically the same thing as hennyable bandai is starting to get a little less creative with their captain abilities once again, we expect to see about 5 to 800 heal per turn with that captain ability. His sailor ability completely resists paralysis on himself. And his special ability is a 3 stage special, which the last stage probably goes down to about a 10 turn cooldown. And will change block and badly matching orbs into matching orbs. Now this is one of the few characters that are non-conditionally, uh, as in like not type restricted changes block and badly matching into matching orbs so that's really nice other characters are like pika and dellinger so depending on how low this cooldown is that could be nice as a great orb manipulator and then we have jinbei jinbei is a psi powerhouse fighter character his captain ability boosts fighters by 2.5 and health by 1.3 once again we're getting less creative his sailor ability boosts the attack of fighters by 75 sweet his special ability adds 0.3 to the chain multiplier for two turns. That's the same thing that Raid Boss Kizaru does, but only 0.3 instead of 0.5. He reduces the chain multiplier limit and chain coefficient reduction durations by three turns. That's the ones that like Hancock gives you or certain bad character, uh, enemies will give you that debuff that lowers your combo meter by like 50% or sets it out where you only can go up to 1.5 times on the combo meter or something like that. Those are the ones he reduces by three turns. Now that's going to be very useful against a lot of fights. There are some fights when we will specifically bring Raid Boss Hancock and use her on stage four. So that way when we get to the boss, uh, uh, Hancock having the debuff up already will prevent the boss from giving it to us and Jinbei will get rid of that so instead of using something preemptively we can actually use something to boost our attack and get rid of that enemy bad thing this is the same thing as like uh, red chopper where generally it's not that useful but whenever it is useful it is amazingly useful and will completely change if you can easily beat a fight or if you're going to have to try really hard to just barely eke out a victory and then finally, we have Magellan. Magellan, 6-star Magellan, the star of the show. He is a Dex Striker Shooter character. Striker Shooter, love you on my Blackbeard team. Hint, hint, hint. His max stats right here, 3,500 health, 1,500 attack, and 300 recovery. His captain ability is not the strongest out there by the numbers. Boosts. The attack of all characters by 2.25 and their health by 1.5 times if you have one character of uh, at least one character of every single color on your team. And he cuts the health of each enemy by 15% at the end of each turn. Now we also have the raid boss Fujitor that cuts health at the end of each turn. So this is the second time we've seen something like that on the captain ability. And he is required he requires that you have one of every single color on your team. Sort of like the Blackbeard, very, very strict type, very, very strict crew building and it is important to note that if you get characters blown away during a fight like on raid boss kuma that captain ability will still be active as long as you had you were valid at the beginning of the stage you will be valid no matter what happens to the rest of your crew he has no sailor ability but his special ability inflicts toxic onto all enemies he and he heals for 13 times his recovery at the end of each turn for three turns. Now that means he's going to be healing for about 5,000 health at the end of each turn if you have 100 recovery cotton candies on him. So healing for 5,000 every single turn for three turns, very nice. And also he starts at 50 times his attack compared to Raid Boss Magellan. Raid Boss Magellan only starts at 0.5 times his attack. So Raid Boss Magellan usually takes about eight turns to ramp up to his full damage this magellan only takes four turns also on that fourth poison tick that will deal two million damage instead of uh 
Raid Boss Magellan, which takes 8 ticks, and it will only go up to 1.5 million. So it's, in every single way, stronger than Raid Boss Magellan. Now, he is going to be an amazingly good sub. Oh my goodness, is he going to be a great sub on almost any single team that uses him. Shooter teams, bam. As long as you, as they're not going to attack you, they don't have debuff protection, you can kill them just by using a bit of delay and that 2 million damage tick every single turn. Strikers, same thing. Strikers generally have a lot of health. And like with a Barto team, just use Barto, prevent yourself from dying, and just watch them die while they can't kill you. On a Dex team, great. Same thing once again. Blackbeard teams, lots of health. Do that good stuff. And he is recovery, so Blackbeard will love that, getting his recovery back. But the most important thing I want to mention about him is that he's going to go amazingly well on a zombie team. Because using him as a friend captain on a zombie team gives you a nice bit of attack. The health, extra health isn't really nice, but having that health cut at the end of each team for a zombie team and also having this amazing poison, the heal doesn't matter on a zombie team, but having that amazing poison is going to be huge. Now, if you use him with like... Uh, a friend 5 plus Luffy team, that's going to be fine too. Use a little bit of delay and use him whenever necessary. But that 15% health cut on a zombie team is going to make zombie teams so fast. With the poison, it's going to make it amazing. If they have a lot of health, you'll get rid of them easily, no problem. And if they have barriers, remember that's at the end of each turn. So as long as you attack through those barriers, he'll keep cutting that health by 15% every single turn. Now the zombie team that you might be looking at is... Uh, just a standard Rocket Man zombie team. I can show you guys right here one of them. We can actually put Magellan here now. Magellan, new raid boss, uh, six star Magellan here. And swap over to the Rocket Man ship. Where are you, Rocket Man? Rocket Man, Rocket Man, Rocket Man. So here we have a team only 133 health, so that is totally fine. You got your blue, you got your green, you got your red, you got your purple, and you got your yellow. Remember that he's also green, so you can always swap Sabo for something else. Swap him for a blue Mihawk if you want. You can swap him for a red Mihawk. You can swap him for whatever, so you can use blue Mihawk here. You can use Time Skip Brook if you want a bit more of, uh, and like, a team that actually does damage also and is a zombie team so here's another very valid team the strength one is the one that probably has the fewest options for the zombie team but lightning the guy is nice because he is a delayer so one turn delay right here and mihawk red blue green friend captain right here great great amazingly good zombie friend captain I've been seeing Gummy guys. Those are the new characters. Six Star Magellan coming out soon on Japan. Good luck if you're gonna get him. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, go follow us out. Follow me on Twitch. I stream every single day for Mania hours, playing One Piece, Terra Cruise, and other games. So if you're like, hey, I want to see Zinigami play something else, come over on Twitch. Maybe I'm playing something else. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just want to chat. You can also visit the Amazon link down below. If you make that your new Amazon bookmark, make it your parents' Amazon bookmark on their computers. It doesn't change anything about how you use Amazon.com, but uh, anytime you buy something through that link, it doesn't matter what you buy, and it gives me a little kickback, and I really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and it helps support the stream, guys. I've been Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching. And y'all stay beautiful.